Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Life's a Project, where I like to share my everyday life projects with you. In today's project, I'm out in the garden space and I wanted to apply a summer weight fabric garden cover to one of my garden beds. But first, you may notice that I have four of these green elevated garden beds here. In a past video, I shared with you how I purchased three from Walmart.com, and when I was putting that third one together, it was missing a metal support piece. So uh, I contacted Walmart.com. They said they would send me out a new one, and no need to return the one that was missing a piece. But you know, I really wanted to not throw it away and try to figure out a way to use it. So James came up with cutting a really thick a sheet of plastic the same size as the metal support piece and he also drilled a couple of drainage holes so it seems like it's gonna work out and we filled it full of soil here on the end and added the little brick pavers under the legs so I'm really excited to have the extra planting space so in two past videos, I shared with you how I planted up some sugar snap peas around these two metal obelisks, and then I also planted some radishes, and then I transplanted my little kale seedlings that I've been growing inside, and then over here in this container, I planted a couple rows of spinach, and then several rows of lettuce where I um, sow them really densely so I can do a cut and come again style of, you know, growing in this bed with the lettuce just growing the lettuce for the leaves to harvest and leaving the root in place and they will continue to grow back so you can harvest them at a later time. So the plan is to cover this bed because I know later on that you know pests and things, bugs, all of that will uh, want to munch on this lettuce so I wanted to put some type of garden cover on this container. So on Amazon, I found this garden cover. It's from Gardner Supply Company. I purchased the summer weight fabric in a piece that's six foot by 20 foot, and you can buy them in different sizes. And it's a lightweight cover that does not trap in as much heat as the all-purpose fabric, because there's also an all-purpose fabric choice and a garden quilt choice. And it can be used all season long to screen out pests. It can also protect plants from birds and the summer weight fabric transmits up to 85% of available sunlight and will not block out rain. It will provide some protection against light frost overnight down to around 28 to 30 degrees. So I thought this was a really good choice. I wanted to give it a try this year and right here I have some scissors and also some of these kind of paper binder clips that I already had hoping to use as little clamps to hold this onto my container. So I'm just going to give it a try and see how it goes. So guys, here it is in place and it seems to work out um, pretty good. Um, I'm really happy with it so far. It is a really lightweight fabric, so I was really careful not to put a hole in it, um, but it may be more durable than I think. I did leave about 10 inches or so of fabric all the way around just so I have some fabric to work with just in case I need to make an, some adjustments as the plant grows. Now these binder clips worked out perfectly. They really was a perfect size for for the size of my container uh, to clamp everything in place so that is I'm happy with that and the directions say that you can actually just lay this right on the top of your plants and if you do it um, loose then as the plants grow they'll kind of push up the fabric um, but it's really windy in my area and I really don't like that uh, the fabric would constantly be kind of beating up against the plants. Um, so I'll probably use something like um, some type of steak. Um, you can use pieces of wood, just whatever you have. I probably need one a little bit shorter than this one, but you can place them in all four corners and kind of tent it um, over top of your plants. Um, so giving them room to grow and as the wind blows, it's not going to be hitting up against your plants. So guys, I hope to show you um, how this um, works for me as the season goes on. And I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, place them down in the comment section below. I hope you are subscribed to my channel and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.